hello guys welcome to all of you in this video in this video we will see how to register for infosys before that i want to uh, say you for applying for infosys you have to score in 10th and 12th 60 plus then that only you can apply this uh, in previous day we have uh, filled a google form that is from infosys then after I will got this mail and now I will apply for Infosys using this email and password which is uh, got from Infosys so let's start how to register for Infosys here is a link for Infosys which is info tq website you have to click on that and we have to log in that user ID and password using after opening this link you have to click on register and then you have to fill inside of email you have to fill your email and inside password you have to fill your password which is given by infosys here you can see this is my password i will copy that password and paste here and then after i will click on login here you have to update your password you can change that password i will change my password here before registration you have to keep your resume is ready read these terms and condition and declaration if you haven't subscribed to my channel till now then subscribe please and hit the like button and share this video to your friends now you have to scroll it down and you can see expand here and click on accept now you have to see here you can see here register now button then you can click on that now you have to click on application form you have to read this all information and fill the form here i will upload my photo which is less than 512 kb now i will upload my resume here I will give you the resume format if you want the resume format in your, our telegram channel that is name is SK Heart series you can join on us on our telegram channel now you have to roll it down and fill that all information like gender you have to make sure your all information is correct or wrong now here i will enter my alternate contact number then here my birth date is had to fill wrongly but i have to correct it your email address is filled here automatically you have to enter your citizenship then next you have to enter your alternate email if you have any then you can enter your email here do you have a password i don't have any password that's why i'll select no you have to read the this information we recommended you apply for a password if you get selected for employment at infosys you will able to uh, you will give the password that's why you have to include the password passport 
here in address you have to fill your address country state pin code and city then click on submit now you have to click i have read and accept you have to fill this type of percentage accept then you have to fill 10th information which state passing month and year percentage school of 10th degree and poll my board is latur division board that's why i am selecting this you have to check this all information on mark memo next i have to fill the 12th purchase uh, 12th information in like 10 percentage state board full name and degree name now we have to fill your graduation information here you can see it is filled wrongly i have to correct it it is at a fill my college name is college of computer science and information technology latur that is i have type and selected now i will select my degree and branch that is computer science here I am selecting now my university name is Tommy Ramanantir Maratwada University. I will select it and click on save and proceed. Do you have any active back backlog? I don't have any active backlog that I am selecting no and save and proceed. Do you have any gap in education? I don't have any gap then next. Are you currently employed with any Infosys? No, I don't have employed. You have to read this. Have you undergone any selection process with Infosys Limited? No, I don't. That's why I am selecting no. You have to read it manually and select yes or no. If yes. If your answer is yes, you can select yes. If your answer is no, you can select no. I am fresher, that's why I am selecting no, no. I don't have given any exam and I don't imply of any Infosys Limited company. Have you ever joined Infosys Limited? No. Have you taken test with any Infosys? No. After completion this you have to save and proceed next it will ask some question are you employed as director in any company no i don't employed as director in any company After completion this all you have to save and proceed now you have to upload your identity proof of college or your government identity proof that is aadhar card you have to convert that aadhar card into pdf that's why you take any photo of aadhar card then convert it 
PDF by using PDF24 Creator. I have converted PDF. You can see here. Not in PDF. Now I will upload. We check the size of that PDF, which is less or no. Now I will browse that PDF and upload here. You have to upload first, and then <laughs> save. Here you can see your application form is completely complete and saved. Please note submitting form. The form is essential for booking the test slot. I clear to submit. You have to submit your form. After submitting your form, you can't edit it. Before submitting, you have to check the form again, and then and then only you can submit. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel till now, then you can subscribe please. Thank you. See you in next video.